This section just talks about uh, teaching games for understanding. These are invasion games, and in this example we're using a uh, modified game of basketball. So some things I want to talk about and show you are, are involved in this game. First of all, we've got these three playing a game right now, and it's basically it's two on one, okay? So we don't always have to play the same number of offense and defense in a game, okay? We can load the practice so that we have odd numbers. Because our focus of this game right now is to get some success and for the kids to work on being in an open lane, right? Okay, guys? So we're looking at getting in an open lane to receive a pass, meaning the defender is not in our way, right? So when we don't have the ball, what do we want to do? Get open. Get open. Move to open space. So in this simple little game we've got going right now, we're playing three people, one defender, and two on offense. And go ahead, you guys, they're going to play for a minute. Basically what happens is there's no dribbling in the game. If it's there, shoot it, Isaac, remember? And whoever shoots the ball, one shot's attempted, that person's on defense. Quick out, no dribbling, remember? And we're moving to where we're open. Now, simple game, Isaac's on defense now, we hustle out quick, and we're going again. Last one. Okay, now we stop there, gather up who's on defense, Will, get ready, and we'll stop for a second. Now, I also teach the kids different types of defense they can play. Now, I'm not talking zone, man, all that stuff. What type of defense are we playing right now? Cold defense. There's three levels of defense. Cold defense, basically, Will is just getting in the way, more like a pylon, not intercepting the ball, what else can't you do? I can't, um, you can't jump right off the pitch. You're not jumping, you're not intercepting, you're not blocking. You're just basically taking up space right now. Because we want, the objective of this is to work on passing, not have someone steal the ball all the time. So we're playing in cold defense. Now, if I wanted us to play warm defense, Will would move a little closer maybe if he wanted to. But he's not going to get any closer than a stretched out arm length away. Okay? Alright? So back up, Will. We're still playing cold. Now in warm defense, you're allowed to intercept passes. Okay? Then you get into hot defense, and that's basically just playing as tough a defense as you can. You can intercept, you can get right up on the person in following the rules of that game. Okay? So when we learn those terms, and I tell people we are playing cold defense, they know what that means. Or if I say you're playing warm defense, they know what that means. A couple other things. Okay, we've talked about loading your practice so you can change the numbers. I can bring in a third person and we can play three on one. Okay? Uh, you can change the numbers on that. We've talked about cold, warm, and hot. And I also want to talk about something that's important when we're teaching games is, I'll take the ball for a minute. I'm using a, a size 5 ball with these guys, okay? And I've also taken the basketball net and I've lowered it to a level where they can make shots, all right? So you want to modify equipment when you can. That's important as well, okay? Play one more, let's go. Move to open space. Good. Now, in an, when I'm teaching, come on out, when I'm teaching this concept of teaching games for understanding, we're going to play game at the beginning. This was our game, all right? Then as a teacher I say, okay, what do we need to work on? Well, they're not really grasping the open lane yet. So, I would stop. Go grab me those three discs right there, quick. All right? Is there four there or three? Okay, run and get me one more real quick while I'm setting up. All right, so now I'm going to set up a square. So first thing we do is play a game, some type of modified game. This resembles basketball, okay? Then I break it down and I say we're going to have game-related practice now. We are trying to understand open lane. And they're getting it, but they need more work on it, all right? So what we would do is set up this drill. Take the ball right here, Isaac. Okay, I'm going to be the defending person. Outside of the pylons will stay. All right, you stay there. Now, remember we talked about this one, open lanes. Is Will in open lane right now? Okay, is Robert? 
So where does Robert have to go, everyone? Go, Robert. Okay, now you make a pass, one way or the other. I'm just playing cold defense. Now, look at they're already all over this. Now stop for a second. Who is your open lane? Robert, who wasn't, is Isaac. He already knows to move. Okay, let's go with this drill. Doesn't have to just go in a circle, right? Okay, stop now. Now, Robert, you ran that way. You got to get back here. You're open lane already, right? So, anyway, that's an example of how we work on that. Now, if I then saw that they're struggling with the actual skill of pushing a pass, which they're not here for their age level, I would then work on skill development. I would have some drills set up working on passing, okay? We're not worried about that because they did a pretty good job with passing, all right? So you don't always have to think skill, skill, skill. They got to get concepts to play games. Because this moving to open space works with other games. What other kinds of games? Soccer, hockey, okay? So it's a concept we learn now in this, and it'll make us better. So you can move the cones out, back out, just toss them off to the side quick. Quick, quick, quick. Come back in. Now from here, I could set up and play, okay, we're going to play a, a half court game. Still no dribbling, and our focus is going back to making proper passes and taking it from there. So we've progressed from a game at the beginning to uh, practicing uh, game-related practice, skill if we need to, and then moving back into a, a full game near the end. Okay? Thanks, boys. Go for one more. One more. Let's see it. Make her count.